Hello and good morning, Chicago. The time is now 30 after the hour of 8.30 a.m. on this beautiful Sunday morning. God, I love me a good Sunday. Not just because it's the start of a brand new week, but also I give my kids back to their mother for the week. Ha! I'm just Josh in Chicago. I love my kids. Temperatures are at a high crisp 55 and a low 35 going into the night, but as for the day, we are looking at nothing but blue skies, so make sure to enjoy that sun and bundle up today, Chicago. This next song is dedicated to all of our loyal listeners out there that make this show possible. A little pick-me-up song to get your show on the road. That's all for me, and make sure you do something that makes you happy today. Hello. So you're probably thinking, Haley, are you okay? And to that I say, depends on how you look at it. So yeah, I know this isn't like the rest of my videos, but you know what? I just like to keep you guys on your toes. So I wanted to run away, not with anyone because commitment, mm, try again, but with myself, you know, something spontaneous, something crazy, something to create memories with myself. So I thought an Airbnb would be cool. I started looking around all these Airbnbs and I come across this tree house. I absolutely fell in love with this tree house because I remember when I was eight years old, I really wanted a tree house and I came up with this movie idea where two childhood best friends have a tree house and inside of the tree house is a portal that leads them to another world where they fight dragons, go on quests, etc. But as the two childhood best friends grew up, you know, got married, had kids, they fell out of touch until one day they rekindle their relationship, go back up into the tree house, go through the portal like they used to do when they were kids. Then when they enter through the portal, they must complete their final and last mission. And that is to defeat the beast that they thought they killed when they were younger. Now, spoiler alert, at the end of this movie, turns out the whole thing is not real, but just a figment of their imagination. Because you see, that's the theme of the movie. When you're a kid, you always have this childlike imagination, but then as you grow up, you're confronted with reality and your childlike imagination starts to dwindle. Despite how old you are, who you are, or where you are, you, until the day you die, will always, always have your imagination. Even when you're old and you're starting to get, you know, dementia, forget everything, you will always have your imagination. I made up that movie idea when I was like eight, so if you steal it, I'll know about it and I'll curse you on the full moon so that you go bankrupt and make absolutely no profit off of the movie so choose your battles very carefully I decided to get a little bit of breakfast in me before we embark on this journey together but first we need to go to the grocery store did you think I was gonna introduce a sponsor well plot twist there is no sponsor for this video so as I said always keeping you on your toes let's get this party started okay I love that song I'm absolutely in love. Literally, the people here are so, so nice. And I'm out of breath, because I just had to climb up all those steps. This is kind of like a dilemma. Basically, I brought my, <laughs> I brought my rolling luggage. Why? I have this bag that I'm filling up with all of my clothes and stuff that is in the rolling luggage and bringing it up here. God, I haven't spoken in about three hours. <laughs> As of right now, I need to unpack. This is the type of book that like you can only read at night. You can't really read this book in public because you know people are gonna be looking at you like um and then you can be Do I know how to make good content? We're we're gonna see. I've never made anything in a Keurig before. Water in the water holder. Water holder is this in the back, right? Did I spill anything back there? 
Because, girl, if I die up here, like, that will be... I die and they're all like, we should have got her a cure. <laughs> I just have this, like, new sense of independence. The options are honestly limitless. We could go to the club. We could go to the store. We can go out to dinner. We could turn the city upside down. Input. Power. Beautiful. What's cooking tonight? Oh. We are most definitely watching the Great British Baking Show Holiday Edition. Are you kidding me? We're watching the Great British Baking Show. We about to get these vibes going. It's a little hot in here though. <laughs> Someone crack a window because it's either the menopause or it's a little too hot. All right, I'm going out. There's a Italian place 10 minutes away from here and I'm gonna go there. Well, that depends. If the place is like really fancy looking and there's like a lot of people in there, then I'm not gonna bring myself up in there. I am so silly. I swear. I swear I'm so silly. You wanna know what happened? I get all dressed up, ready to go to this pasta restaurant. I'm in the parking lot and I start getting a little nervous because it's Saturday night so obviously it's filled to the brim. I look up there's a Portillo's around. I'm like okay let's go to Portillo's then I'll eat inside whatever. Turns out dining is not allowed and I'm like okay what's next? I go to Denny's. Denny's also is not allowed for dining. Girl I just watched Wolf of Wall Street for the very first time the other day and now I cannot stop talking like Margot Robbie. I am a wreck tonight, am I right? But you know what's not a wreck? Red Notice on Netflix. I just started, I need to stop. I just started the <laughs> like 45 minutes into it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to dinner. An hour and a half goes by and I still haven't ate because I got too nervous of like going in there by myself. I'm gonna put on sweatpants cause girl, allow me to devour this Denny's. I totally forgot there was like a loft up here. This is kind of spooky. <laughs> what if I fall back? Will you catch me? <laughs> Y'all are like, uh. Whoa. Ooh, ow. Ooh, ow. Girl, that was my own fault though. That was embarrassing. I was gonna say before I got my head bashed in. Wow, why do I feel like I'm concussed? I don't think that was a concussion. Concussion is like, if you're like a football player, that was not equivalent to a football player. That was like a little da doof. That most definitely, you know, knocked a few memories out of me. <laughs> I was watching this one movie earlier called Home Again with Reese Witherspoon. Weirdest movie ever. She is a single mom and she meets these three filmmaker guys, like all in their mid 20s. Those three guys end up spending the night at her house. Well, the three guys, as I said, are filmmakers and Reese Witherspoon's mother in the movie is like a famous actress. So the actress mother and the three filmmakers start mingling and they're like, hey, mom, we don't have a place to stay. Do you mind if we crash at your daughter's guest house? The grandma's like, yeah, you can stay at my daughter's house without even asking the daughter first. And then there's like a love story between the 28 year old and the 40 year old. We watched the movie, we chilled out, we unpacked, etc., etc. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay. All right.
two things. Last night, when I hit my head on the ceiling fan, I scratched my eyelid, and now I woke up, my eyelid hurts really bad. Second thing, I set my alarm for 6.40 in my head, thinking like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so pretty when I wake up and the sun's going to be rising. As you can see, there is no sun, just clouds. It's 7.43. I don't really know what's on the agenda, but... looking underneath the sink like I know what I'm looking for. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. It's currently 9.12 a.m. I'm gonna go to the nearest Dunkin' Donuts and get some coffee. Hopefully I can like talk to the hosts. Girl, but I'm so shy. I be who said that? I love the song so much. I wish I could play it. Starting route to Duncan. Just pretend oh, like you um, can hear it. Okay, but can we talk about something like <laughs> before we go i never really talk about my family on my channel just because my family prefers to be you know private people i have my mom my dad three older sisters two nieces two nephews so there's like nine of us all nine of us um act exactly the same tends to be very like timid or like anxious which is completely fine when i told like everyone that i was gonna go to this airbnb they were like why do you have a death wish like you're, you're gonna get murdered yesterday my mom texts me a bunch of times asking me if i was alive yes everything's fine this morning all three of my sisters text me and say hey you live over there but yeah i just thought that was super funny um maybe you'll meet my family one day I really have like a cool idea for a Christmas video that I want to do, like travel vlog wise. This is so weird doing. I forgot my card at the treehouse. So I had to run back to the place, get my card, and now we're at an art gallery and I spoke to the woman on the phone. She was the sweetest girl ever. Her name was Joan. She was like, oh my God, yes, what's your name? And I was like, Haley. And then she was like, oh my God, when you get here, I'm gonna show you around. And I was like, oh my God. Hopefully she lets me film in there. Dun, dun, dun. Wasn't just in fashion, he created over 200 covers for Harper's Bazaar. So he influenced design, architecture, jewelry on a global level. Wow. Uh, we were his last dealer before he passed away. So we still have a large collection available. Wow. Oh, is that a picture or is that oil? Oil. We don't have any photography wow. here. Wow. Yeah. How do they stay in such good condition after such a long time? Uh, it's just someone who took care of it well. Oh. Usually. The MCA was the largest. Really? He is our generation's war fall, but in my opinion, he's much more minor artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen that sunflower around too. I was too. gonna say, he's done collaborations with like Louis Vuitton, Van wow. Shoes. He did Kanye's graduation album. He did a Billie Eilish music video.
went into a restaurant by myself. Remember how last night I was super freaked out about going to like dinner by myself? It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Literally no one cared. Well, I got a new book from Barnes and Noble, House of Gucci. Let's get this party started. I feel like I need to face my fears and go up there. I have two sweaters and a long sleeve on because you know it's Chicago and we have 20 degree winters all right what am I so scared about not fitting <laughs> I just need to close my eyes <gasps> imagine the whole thing comes down all right how do I get down parachute it's real nice real cute oh but you know what he rises, so it's uh, it's getting a little toasty up here. I don't know what happened, but as I got older, I kind of got like a fear of heights. When I was younger, I used to be that girl that would like drag all of her friends onto like the biggest and most unsafe roller coasters. I used to freak out my dad. Like, you know how at the hospital they have um, balconies that you can look over and s oversee like the lobby by like going over way too much because it just didn't scare me but then as I got older I kind of like grew a fear of heights my track record so clean they can't wait to just bash me I must be getting too flashy y'all shouldn't let the world pass me I'm too late and I'm here to stay and these girls know that I'm nasty I send it back to a boyfriend with my handprint on her Okay, <laughs> take notes. Make this bed. Lug down four bags of clothes. <laughs> Last night I watched the movie My Teacher, My Obsession. Really, really weird. It's basically about this English teacher and this teenage girl that are like father and daughter. And the daughter doesn't want anyone knowing that her father is the English teacher because her father is also like really conventionally attractive he's not attracted to me but I could see how other people find him attractive there's this one girl that finds out like the English teacher is her father so she starts being friends with the girl so that she could get closer with her dad spoiler alert and I'm gonna give you the spoiler because it's not that good of a movie by the end of the movie she tries to kill the girl just like randomly daughter is just walking through the halls and then the girl comes up and stabs her in the stomach go get coffee 821 i plan on getting out of here in 30 minutes 40 minutes can i do it still have one bag of clothes left just gonna get that way out oh my god there's a little squirrel <gasps> a little squirrel i'm gonna go get duncan and then i'll see you guys when i get back did you want your seat uh no i'm okay have a good one thank you you too day in the life of a oh my god girl you want to know something remember i told you that whole mafia uh mob boss story of like i'm about to become a mafia mob boss with the way that i'm like watching all of these movies and being overly confident in myself i would die i know people say like snitches get stitches but like stitch i'm fine with stitches stitches heal right I feel very lucky to have you guys, people watching me, because I feel like me and you are very alike. And so whenever I go out and do things or you go out and do things, we like cheer each other on. Yeah. <laughs> 
I wish I could do what you're doing, so like I'm gonna cheer you on. Especially like going out to lunch by myself, that was a little scary. It's kind of like presenting in front of the class, you know, when you present in front of the class and then prior you're like super nervous and then you go up there and then you sit back down. You kind of get this weird feeling of like why do I kind of want to do it again? I'm glad that I'm able to make creative jumps like this, steering away from my normal content. Of course, that doesn't mean that I'm just going to stop doing true crime content. Like, I still love doing true crime content. I'm a Gemini, so I have to jump around. This video was really, really fun to make, and I do plan on making more like this in the future. It is 1024. Checkout is at 12, so I think I'm going to bring the rest of my stuff downstairs to my car. And let's say goodbye. It's been fun. Now I have to edit this which is probably going to be my favorite part. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah, can you put a splash of creamer in there? 11.41, checkout is at 12, so technically I'm making pretty good timing. Yes. Hi, honey, welcome home. How's life been? Did you hold it down while I was gone? <laughs> what is that? T-Rex. Uh, are you gonna make some food? I got what? Ready? Let's see it together. It's a note. <laughs> it's a love letter. <laughs> Susan's like, I love your videos. <laughs> You're so hot. And I'm like, oh my god, Susan. She's like, I didn't know what other way to contact you. Wow. Wow, I can see my reflection in it. <laughs> I feel like acceptance speeches always have like, thank you, thank you, something controversial. Thank you for your time and good night. Thank you to my mom. Thank you to my dad. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my friends. Um, Kanye's album was better than Drake's. Thank you for your time and good night. I don't stand Kanye the person, but like musically, I don't know. Maybe Drake isn't just my cup of tea when it comes to music. What do you think? <laughs> oh my God, look, you can see yourself. There you are. Look, now it's kind of like you got the award too. Wow, what a cute little way to wrap it up. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me and have done for me. Um, on a realistic note, you guys really did help me in every sort of way, mentally, creatively, emotionally, physically, financially, you know what I mean? So honoring that you guys are so committed to me that you guys continue to watch what I do every, you know, Friday or, or you know, whatnot. I don't know. It just, it really means a lot and I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm just making videos and that's it. Like, I really do put in a lot of love and work. I appreciate you guys just as much. I love love talking to you guys in person and on Instagram. I never really get like sappy or anything, but it really does mean a lot. I wish I could give you all a great big hug. I literally get chest pains when I think about how much I love you guys. It just, I love you so, so much. Um, it really does like hurt me a little bit how much I love you guys. It's, it's intense. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any of my socials, like my Instagram, that will be linked down below, as well as my PO box if you want to send me anything.
See? That's where the, um... That's where the ceiling fan attacked me. So. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Slight flex. It's really whatever. A teenager.